Well, I was really blown away by your new single, Ghost, so. Oh, thank you. So, uh, before we get into that, here at Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passions. I want to know where your passion for music came from. Was it a certain album you heard or a live performance you saw or something that was always natural for you as a child? Um, good question. Uh, I definitely sort of uh, used to wake up singing, I think, as a kid, and yeah. I've always just sung things um and then I sort of started having lessons and I went down the more sort of classical route um so I did classical singing and um piano and violin and um but I always wrote my own music on the side we had um I think when I was 12 I started a band called uh, what was it called it was called like Black Mirror or something it oh, be cool <laughs> maybe it was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was uh, the first the first person to think of Black Mirror, um, but we broke up because I don't think we actually could make any songs up, and we were twelve, and we didn't. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's just it's always been I think how I express myself is writing poetry and writing songs. That's uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, the new single Ghost. I mean, it's so dark and beautiful at the same time. Uh, did you play like all the musical instruments on it or just the piano? Um, yeah, I recorded it. So I recorded it with my husband. We've got our own studio here. And uh, I played the piano and did the vocals and then also played the violin. You might hear some violin parts on there that I played. Um, and then my husband played the, um, the other instruments. Wow. And then he also put vocals. I don't know. You can hear at the end. There's like kind of like oh, harmony, and that was yeah. actually my husband. Okay. Yeah. I so saw. I was like, I don't know how to describe it as a choir or extra vocals, but I really dug that. So. Yeah. Oh, good. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, and the lyrics. Oh my goodness, just uh, really hit me. Uh, let's see if I get them right. Though I'm married to a ghost. He sees my needs, but he cannot touch me. There's nothing to believe in. Still, I need him every day. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's some great poetry, music, and lyrics. You know, where did you come up with that? You know, what, what, what inspired you? Uh, so the song we wrote um, over Skype, actually, um, oh. and. So I'm Australian and my husband is British and okay. yeah, we got married um, quite a lot, quite a while ago now. Mm -hmm. And uh, my marriage visa got refused um, by the really? home office. Yeah. And so I had to go back to Australia and um, sort of go back to my hometown and live with my parents and, and everything just got put on hold um, for nearly two years and we were separated. Wow. Um, so. Yeah. So it was, it was, yeah, I mean, it, it was horrible. And we were just sort of stuck in this limbo where um, we were waiting for court dates and, and um, yeah. And so I, I got really down and I wasn't really able to sing or just express myself. I kind of shut down quite a lot. And so Ghost is kind of the first thing that I actually wrote that um, kind of kicked the creative spark in me again. Because yeah. um, I lost it for a little bit there. So yeah, so it really is, I, I, that's how it felt. It just felt like I'm married to a ghost. He can see me, but he can't actually do anything. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's and then the bit, um, yeah. pardon? It's like, kind of like kind of now, people are stuck apart, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, and that's, I think that's probably why, yeah. it's probably why we wanted to release it now is because it, it's, it does feel like everyone's in this kind of lim limbo sort of holding pattern and, um, yeah, so I thought maybe some people might, um, <laughs> well, might be able to It's amazing because like our, my wife and I, our, 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 our favorite thing to watch now on quarantine is uh, binging 90 Day Fiance. And these people who shouldn't be getting married are getting visas to do, get married and come to the U.S. And you, you and your husband couldn't even get one in Australia and the U.K. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, it's very, it's obviously always complicated. Everyone's immigration story is very individual, but... Um, I think there are thousands and thousands of people who have been, have had horrible time when it comes to immigration. Yeah. I know it's one of the most stressful things you can do um, is apply for a visa. So I wouldn't wish it on anyone. <laughs> uh, so what, where did you uh, grow up in Australia? So. 
Um, I'm from Townsville, which is like northeast coast. So um, okay, the, yeah, it's near where like the Great Barrier Reef is. And Very nice. Yeah, I was nice my, my favorite band in the world, Silver Chair. So I know we're like. Oh we're yeah, I love Silver Chair. <laughs> Yeah. Really? <laughs> Very cool. Was there like a big like music scene there growing up? Or I mean, I know London's very known for theirs, you know? Yeah, London is. Um, Townsville is sort of a, um, it is a city, but it's fairly small and quite remote. It's very far away from any of the other big cities in Australia. But there was a huge like musical theater and theater scene there, which is, I guess, because they were so far away from other cities, they kind of had their own. So yeah, I grew up doing lots of musical theater and doing like all, all the, yeah, theater and that kind of thing. Yeah. So Very cool. Definitely. So uh, you have Ghost Out. Um, I did get check out your other music video for Susan. I must say it's Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It that, is a very... video for especially what we're what we're in now. I, I recommend everyone check it out. So where I mean, does concept come from? Like, is Susan an actual friend growing up, or you know? No, Susan has become this sort of character for me. She's like my imaginary best friend, and uh, she's a raptor. Cool, huh? Yeah. So uh, yeah, she's a dinosaur, and um, she's sort of <laughs> she she. she 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 came out of uh kind of a bit of a late night and uh yeah i was pretending to be a raptor and then i named her susan um and yeah so this song is it's just a kind of love song to my imaginary best friend susan um and i got my real best friend to dress up as a dinosaur and dance around london my brother Phil. yeah uh, um, i love it i think you're a piccadilly circus i think yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> We tried to get into a few clubs, but they wouldn't let us because it was too much fancy dress. <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah. cool. All right. Well, um, where can people stay in touch with you? Uh, social media, website-wise, anything coming up with some teas? I know shows are kind of on download now. I don't know if they're doing any yeah. live uh, performances on Facebook or anything like that. Yeah, we've been doing quite a lot of live streams on YouTube. So you can still watch some of our old ones if you want. It's Ebony Buckle Official is my YouTube channel. Um, and then I, um, I'm i going to be releasing a music video for Ghost. So that's coming out in the next few weeks. Oh, very um, So cool. it's very different to Susan. It's much darker, <laughs> obviously. But I, I, I like, like, like Silverchair. They have a lot of dark music, but then very happy, poppy stuff. So I, I, I get that vibe from you. You know, you got a whole range of different emotions that you just pour out in your soul and in your music, you know? Yeah, I think that's a lovely way to say it. Thanks. <laughs> that's how it feels. Um, so yeah, and then I'm also I've also got a Patreon platform, which is where you can come and subscribe to me, and um, I'm sharing loads of new music there, and um, I'm making an album. So anyone who joins now will actually hear the album before it's released next year. So oh, awesome. yeah, I'm doing that, and then obviously Instagram um, at Ebony Buckle Official. Website is EbonyBuckle.com, and um, Facebook again is Ebony Buckle Official. So I'm everywhere. <laughs> I'm not very good at Twitter, but um, I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. We'll stay in touch and uh, stay safe. You know. Amazing. Thank you so much for having me.